Welcome in the 23rd episode. Today we will implement settings scene. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future video I release. Ok, so let's get started. First of all, let's open our project and go to our scenes folder. Then right click, create and select scene. And I will name it settings. Now let's go to the menu file build settings, grab our settings scene and drop it into the scene in build. Make sure you have all of the scenes inside this list. Once you've done it, you can close this window and now let's open this settings scene. So first of all, let's select our camera, make sure the projection is orthographic, the camera size is 5 and then let's right click inside the hierarchy, UI canvas then inside the canvas change the render mode to screen space camera then grab our main camera drop it into the render camera change the UI scale mode to be scale with screen size and then reference resolution will be 180 by 1920 and then match value will be 0.5 so now let's add the background to our scene so right click on the canvas UI image and I will call this image background. Let's go to our graphics. And then you should have the background texture. So grab this texture and drop it into the source image. And then hit set native size. Now let's add some title. Let's right click on this canvas. UI image. And I will name this image title. So let's go to our graphics folder then settings and you should have the title texture in so grab this title and drop it into the source image and then hit set native size so we should have a settings writing I will move it right at the top over here so now let's add a few buttons so first button we want to add is a back button so right click on the canvas UI button and let's call it back and inside our settings folder we have a back texture so grab this back texture drop it into the source image set native size and then remove this text component from our button and then I will move this button right at the bottom of our screen then next button we want to add is the reset game data so right click on the canvas UI button and let's call it reset game data grab our reset game progress button drop it into the source image set native size and make sure you remove this text component so I'll just move it a bit higher than the back button maybe here and now let's right click on the canvas UI button and this is gonna be our privacy policy Let's remove this text component from here. Then let's grab our privacy policy button texture, drop it into the source image and then set native size. OK, so we have uh, our buttons in and then right at the top, we will add the mute sound and mute sound effect button. But this implementation we will do in the next episode. So for now we're gonna stick with these three buttons. Let's implement now the reset game progress behavior. So in order to do that, let's select our main camera. Then let's go to our scripts folder. Let's grab our game utility class and drop it onto the main camera. And then let's create new script. So inside our scripts folder, I will just right click, create C sharp script, and I will call the script setting scene. Let's open the script. Okay, let's remove our update function because we won't need it. Then remove all of these comments. And then right at the top, I will put public. Game level data. Level data. We actually can remove the start function as well. Let's put pu function public void and I will call it clear game data.
Okay, and then let's call data saver dot clear gain data, and then let's pass level data. That's all what we have to do inside this class. Let's save everything now. Let's go back to Unity. And now we can select our main camera. We can grab our settings in script and drop it onto the main camera. And then let's initialize this level data variable. So let's go to our resources, then data. And then let's grab our game level data. So I will select the main camera again grab our game level data and drop it into the level data. Make sure this field is initialized. So now we can go to our reset game data button. So let's select it. Go to the on click event, click this small plus, grab our main camera, drop it into this runtime object from the functions. Let's select the setting scene and then clear game data. Okay, and now let's select our back button, go to the on click event, click the small plus, grab our main camera, drop it here. From the function, let's select the game utility, load scene, and now we need to put the name of the scene we want to go back to. So let's select our scenes folder, and now we go back to the main menu. So let's put the main menu. Make sure you put the correct name. Okay, so I think that's it for this scene for now. Let's save everything. So save. Let's now go back to the scenes folder. Select main menu. And now we need to obviously implement this settings button. So go to the canvas. Select settings. Inside the on click event, let's click the small plus. Grab our main camera and drop it into this object and from the functions game utility load scene and we want to load our settings scene settings okay so now we can go to the file save and let's actually test our changes so when you hit the settings you are inside the settings and then you can go back okay so as you see we have this error in our in the unity let's stop our project and this error is reported by the ad manager so let's open this this error i will double click on it and inside this ad manager seems like this is a problem this line of the code is a problem so to actually avoid it let's put inside the on disable if the interstitial add is not equal null okay Let's save everything and let's back, go back to Unity and then let's test our change again. So I'll hit play. Settings, back. Okay, seems like everything is working fine. There is no errors. So that should fix it. You can now test your advertisement if everything is working fine. But it should. You shouldn't have any issue. So let's go back to our settings scene. The back button was works fine. If I play, if I hit the play button now, as you see, I have some progress already made in my game. So I will go back and I will try to clear this one out. So if I go back to the settings, hit this reset game progress, everything should be deleted. So if I hit play, as you see, everything is deleted. So I think our settings scene works fine and all of the buttons are implemented. This privacy policy, we're gonna implement this button later. I think that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we will start implementing sounds, so you'll be able to play the sounds in your game, and then we're gonna add some sound effects. When, when you actually select the square, there's gonna be short sounds playing, and then we will have two buttons to actually mute the sounds. So I think that's it for today. Again, if you wanna help support this channel, consider subscribing and hit the like. Any problem with it, with implementation, give me a comment below this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.